Hey, today I'm gonna show you my technique for making pizza dough. All right, first I like to uh, get an accurate measurement on my water. I'm gonna use uh, 10.2 ounces of water, which is actually equivalent to the volume measurement for water. And then uh, I like to just pour off some of the water. You don't have to measure it once it's all measured out. And uh, got a teaspoon of uh, instant yeast, a rapid rise bread machine yeast. I don't do this to proof it. I really just do it to uh, to get the uh, the yeast to melt into the water, just so that it goes in as a liquid rather than a uh, rather than a powder. I think you get a better mix that way. All right, then I take uh, two teaspoons of salt into the remaining water. Same kind of idea to sort of to melt it into the water so that it goes into the mix as a solution rather than uh, flakes that have to dissolve somehow. All right, and then we can put that to the side for a minute. Let that mix up a little bit. ready to go with that. So I'm going to zero out the scale. I'm going to use one pound of flour. I'm going to use uh, King Arthur bread flour for my pizza. Okay. One pound of 10.2 ounces of water. It's about 64% hydration percentage. So that oh, should be pretty good. So now what I'd like to do also, now that I have the full pound weighed out, I'll take a you know a decent chunk, probably about a quarter of it. You can see I'm at, I don't know if you'll see it, but I'm at about 12 ounces. So I took a quarter of the flour out to reserve that to the side. So now I'm gonna take basically this water, salt water now. Put that in to there. Get my melted yeast. Put that in there too. And I'm gonna mix this for just a minute with the, uh, with the paddle. You could probably do it with the hook too. Save yourself a step of cleaning, but I think this is easier. about a minute just enough to get it uh, kind of incorporated it's gonna be like a batter and uh, then we're gonna let it sit for like half an hour pull that in auto life probably not pronouncing it right though Incorporated. So now I'm going to uh, stop the video and the machine, and we're going to just wait a half an hour and come back. All right, we're back. It's been about a half an hour. Uh, I'm just going to uh, switch this out to the dough hook. Probably could use this thing too since it's such a wet stage right now. But uh, uh, this might be the proof that it might be better just to do it with the hook from the beginning. So you can save yourself the uh, step of having to deal with this. But I guess it's just not too bad. While it's, uh, while it's going, we can clean it. Uh, put the hook on, bring it back up. And I'm going to go at a pretty high speed, like a, probably like a number three. Um, with this wet though, it's not a big deal. So I'll go with like a number three, and it's going to go for about five minutes uh, mixing this wet batter type dough. And I think we're going to get a really good gluten development by doing that. It's been about five minutes, uh, and now I'm gonna uh, slow it down a little bit, down to my normal uh, dough speed, which is number two on the KitchenAid's. 
and then uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour at a time. Probably do this in like three stages. I'm just gonna let that go for a minute until uh, until it pulls in most of that flour. If you tried to go much faster than this, you'd be uh, having flour going all over the place. So this is really at the right speed. And now most of that loose flour is gone except for a little bit on the side of the bowl. Put another another little batch in there. And remember, this is all weighed out carefully, this flour, so it's not like I'm just arbitrarily adding an amount. This is, uh, you know, we're going to end up with a pound of flour in there and 10.2 ounces of water, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of instant dry yeast. Picked up that uh, it picked up that flour pretty quick. So I'm gonna just finish this off. Put the rest in there. Now we're gonna let this thing go for about uh, I'd say about eight minutes after that uh, last bit of flour was put in there. So I'm gonna stop the camera and we'll be back in about eight minutes so you can see what it looks like. Uh, keep it on number two, otherwise you might burn out your machine. No need to go faster than this. All right, we've been mixing this for about uh, eight minutes, and it's looking really actually pretty good. So I'm gonna shut it down. Let me just take a quick, quick look. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. So now I'm gonna. Uh, you can see it's like baby soft. Perfect though. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just take this. I'm gonna just kind of ball it up a little bit. So you could say, I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of roll it under. Make a round ball. One dough ball, just for now. And then uh, put it back in the bowl. There we go. Get the mixer out of the way. We're done with it. And uh, just drop the plate on it for now. And uh, I just let it sit like that for about uh, half an hour. Let it rise up a little bit. And uh, and then I'm going to break it down and and uh, portion it off into three dough balls. I'm going to this out to three equal portions now. Zero it out. Seven hundred and forty. That's about two hundred and forty-six grams each. Now. And I just put this in the fridge for uh, a couple days to slow rise. Uh, really, one day is enough, but um, two days is better. 
So that's it. Enjoy.